Alright, this is Douglas here from the Inside Blackberry Developers Blog, and I'm here with Renan from Adobe. And uh, even though CES is the Consumer Electronics Showcase, we want to talk a little bit of dev with our friends from Adobe, because uh, um, as you probably heard, they have a big uh, a big role to play in what's going on with uh, Playbook. So, uh, hey Renan, how's it going? Good. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, uh, about what you do in your role at Adobe? So at Adobe, I'm a developer evangelist. So I go around and talk to people at conferences and customers and developers. And it just happens that I got involved with uh, Playbook back at DevCon. So I've been involved with the conferences and a couple of the events we've been doing. And really looking, uh, promising on uh, Playbook and what's going on. And uh, it's really a great environment for the developers to get involved with, even right now. Okay, so now tell us a little bit about the kind of the Adobe RIM partnership and how that um, is playing a role in Playbook development so far. So on a different, couple different levels. Um, first, uh, we have Flash Player integrated into their browser, and uh, if you're here at CES and you're playing with it, you can see that uh, you can pull, just pull up the browser and uh, run any of the, your Flash experiences like you would on the desktop. And then on a lower level, uh, kind of integrated with the OS, uh, we have Air Runtime. So Adobe has a standalone application. Uh, um, runtime that has hooks more into the, the native OS below. And what RIM has done, uh, BlackBerry and with the QNX uh, on the Playbook, uh, the tablet OS with QNX OS underneath, they've uh, made it really uh, integrated. So actually a lot of the native applications on the Playbook are actually Air applications. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, if you want to do, uh, as a developer, if you want to get excited about that, that same components, uh, action script components, which is what uh, ends up being run on Air, is uh, made available through an SDK. So you can grab those components, the QNX UI library, and actually build applications just uh, like the ones that are on the, app, uh, on the playbook. Awesome, and I'm going to give a shameless devlog plug right now. My man Prosanta just did a great video yep. uh, earlier this week uh, demoing some of those uh, tools that you can use. And then on the Inside BlackBerry blog, we actually have a, a great video showing um, some of that web fidelity that you're talking about yep. running uh, Flash videos through the browser. Yes. Um, so now... Uh, and then I'll put another plug in there. Prosanta and I actually did a five-part web series on on uh, getting started and showing different of the QNX UI library. So shameless, totally shameless plug. Yeah. Okay, so now uh, maybe let's let, let's talk there because I know there was a lot of a lot of interest in those webcasts, yep. um, a lot of feedback, which kind of led to I, I think the those webcasts were kind of the generation for why we did that video um, and uh, yep. another post with Prosanna answering some questions. What are some of the main questions developers have kind of been asking you about Playbook and then specifically like uh, Adobe Air development? Yep. So that's a definitely a broad question. So you got uh, a lot of people that are new to the community, so we'll start there. So a lot of the BlackBerry uh, typical developers, they're asking the questions about the other SDKs on the Playbook. So the Playbook will allow um, a native SDK and a WebWorks SDK, but Air is available now. You can uh, pull it down, build your applications with a simulator, and try it and submit your applications to get your free Playbook. So a lot of questions just in general about what is Air, what is Flash Player, what is you know ActionScript, and then things like Flex Framework that allows you to build rich and applications quickly. Um, so then we have our tools, Flash Builder, Burrito, and all that information is uh, we cover it in the web in the webinar. So if you uh, so if those if those new terms are new for you, and you want to look at. Also on the Adobe site, we have a great Adobe Developer uh, Connection website that if you're new to ActionScript and Flash and Air, you should go there and check out our platform. It provides a lot of uh, a rich uh, APIs to uh, access everything from the camera to the microphone to doing things like connected devices. I did a demo where you can have the playbook connect to other playbooks and automatically they can find each other and you can build up games or applications that can share. Uh, oh, cool. So like multiplayer data. gaming, networking yep. type stuff. So on, on, our, on our runtime site, it's called RTMFP. Uh, it's like a local cast, uh, local multicast. So you're sending uh, basically almost like P2P, sending data back and forth. And we also have a lot of other services in our whole Flash platform. So there's a lot of rich, uh, deep history in Adobe with our technologies, our services, and our tools, and our platform. Yeah, and I know that's that's one thing that we've been really excited about from our side, just working with you guys on kind of bringing out your knowledge there. Yep. Do you have, uh, I know we have a lot of, uh, of that information on the BlackBerry Developer Zone and on the dev blog. Could you throw out some Adobe links if people so are looking for the more Adobe Developer Connection is what it's called. And if you go to adobe.com slash go slash ADC for Adobe De Developer Connection, and that's where we have all of our, our main uh, sections to talk about Flux, Flash, ActionScript, um, things like Flash Media Server, some of the services I talk about. Um, that's where you want to go to find that information. Perfect. And you've also been doing some road shows as well, kind of yes. taking the word to the street. 
Yep. Yeah, so Meet the Playbook, we uh, talked to biz people and dev people in New York, Toronto, and San Francisco. We got a lot of good feedback. Um, of course, now at CES, uh, if you uh, you actually get a chance to play with it hands-on, and I think uh, by seeing how many people are, are around every playbook, I couldn't even stand up. I had to wait in line to get them. It's, uh, yeah, I got we got swarmed this morning yeah. for sure. A lot of excitement around that. Now, okay, so talk to me uh, a little bit more for longtime BlackBerry developers yep. who are kind of new to this. Tell me a bit about uh, Adobe Air. Like I know uh, an app that I really love, TweetDeck, is yep. an Adobe Air app. Yep. Uh, can you can you kind of just list off some other type of applications that are either known Air apps? Yeah, so a lot of Flash games. So uh, what we have actually on the CES, we're showcasing Congregate has a, a little shooter game, uh, Elmo, um, picture book game. Um, I'm a from Sesame Street? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so there you can go play with that. I just played it with that one. And I can't remember the other ones. Um, so the question was about, uh, is it where you want to, so, yeah. Well, it was just, uh, essentially, Air is a very common development environment. Yes. So, and with the tools that you guys are providing, it should be easy to build Air apps? Yes. Okay. So it's the same as desktop. You can build an application that actually, with Air, um, to, on desktop, you can take that TweetDeck application and put it in the playbook. Now, granted, uh, design and, and the playbook form factor, you know, you have to take those into consideration as a developer. Touchscreen support, obviously. Yes. Uh, so, uh, QNX UI library uh, supports that, and also our latest Flex mobile uh, framework supports that. And inherently, under the low level APIs, you got multi touch gestures, all those APIs. So, you can build the application uh, any way you want to. Um, but the mouse click still works, so you can bring existing content over. Um, so, it's. Uh, so from a, a, if you're outside of our, our, our platform and you're new to Air, the idea is that we have a lot of uh, robust APIs that you can kind of generalize across desktop. So like on the desktop, what we did with Air was an API that you can work across Windows and, um, and um, Mac. And the idea is that goes across devices. We actually have Air for TV, we have the Playbook, we have other devices. And the idea is these APIs let you build applications really quickly across these devices and use them. So now, specific to Playbook, what I'm excited about is that uh, uh, to go to testament of our integration with Adobe and RIM partnership is um, RIM has taken the Air runtime and it's extended with some Playbook specific APIs. So you'll see things like notification APIs. Um, and then on the app world and their super apps, integration on in-app payments, um, advertising, and a lot of this information hasn't been, uh, you know, the details haven't been public, but these are the type of things that RIM's talking about that will come forward and you'll be able to have these APIs in ActionScript um, and extend the Air runtime to even do cooler things on the Playbook. Awesome. Okay. Uh, thanks for that. Maybe uh, just before we go, you want to give uh, a little word about Burrito? Sure. So, yeah, code name. So, uh, Flash Builder Burrito is our code name for the next generation of Flash Builder tool that is uh, has our Rev features for mobile-centric development. So, you'll have uh, a BlackBerry plugin or uh, the right in your app, your application. So, you build this mobile project, and then all you have to do is hit the run button, and it knows about the device and pushes it right on there. And you can actually test, debug, deploy, uh, and also do it on, um, with other devices. So, Burrito is the code name for the Flash Builder with the next generation tools that are centric mobile and then along with that we have something called Hero which is the flex framework that has the mobile specific components and things that go along with the, the updates and these things will be coming out in the next couple months. Awesome. You can get the betas, so you can play with it right now on labs.adobe.com. Uh, the betas are free, uh, trial, and you can play with it right now. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Yep.